Hello my friends, welcome to my new YouTube channel Orna Arbor. This channel will provide you all the knowledge of floriculture. This channel's objective is to clear all the concepts regarding floriculture. That is from basic to advanced level. So this is Ashish and I am trying to give my 100%. So let's start from the introduction. In the introduction, we cover up the basic definition of floriculture. You can read here a specialized branch of horticulture which deals not only with the cultivation of the flowers, foliage, climbers, etc. but also with their marketing and production of value-added products from them. It means this branch comes under the horticulture. Here we go to acquire the knowledge such as how to cultivate the flowers commercially as well as non-commercially. Then how to take care of all the ornamentals like foliage, climbers, streams, cactus, succulent, etc. But here that all the things not has been done yet. After this, we should know the marketing knowledge and how the value added products we can make or produce. Here I put it down the second definition also. Next, what are the branches? There is three important branches. First, Floriculture and Landscaping, second Floriculture and Landscape Architecture and last one is Floriculture and Landscape Gardening. But we should know the difference in between what is landscaping, what is actually the landscape architecture and what is landscape gardening. Landscaping is a broad and general term. Landscape architecture and landscape gardening we can say comes under the landscaping. In landscaping we just make a design. And with the help of that design, we alter the land portion with the help of different planting materials. But if we thinking about the landscape architecture, where the architectural mind used to make social or professional areas beautiful by using different planting materials. And in landscape gardening means we are making a simple garden that is the decorative garden at our home. That's it. From this slide, we are going to understand basic terminologies mostly used in floriculture. You can read here the first term that is garden. This word originated from the Latin term giardin and meaning is enclosed and near to the nature. But what is actually the garden? We are going to grow up the flowering plants or other plants which look beautiful the piece of the land near the home, near the offices, near the ground that is called garden. The next ornamentals. A wide variety of the plants are grown and harvested for their ornamental values, includes flowering plants, blah blah blah. But we should know, we should understand the ornamentals. What is actually the ornamental plants? First important use of that particular plant is decorative purpose. We cannot say apple is an ornamental plant. Basically it is a fruit crop. Therefore, ornamental plants main basic terms of that particular plants which is improve the aesthetic value of the garden. And the things we are getting from that plants we can use for the value addition. Here you can see that gymnosperm um, picture. In that Gymnosperm, we can colorize that gymnosperm, we can use for the aesthetic value, we can put in our home, it looks very beautiful. So that is the purpose of the ornamental plants and if that purpose will fulfill from that plant, then we can say this is the ornamental plant. Next, what is the traditional flowers and what is the non-traditional flowers? If we are thinking about the traditional flower, it means they have some economic use. We can get the money from that flowers all over the India. And most important thing we can cultivate as a commercial level. But non-traditional flowers we cannot cultivate at commercial level. So here is some example of the traditional flowers and non-traditional flowers. In traditional flowers that is jasmine, tuberose, then uh, your chrysanthemum marigold but in non-traditional flowers there is golden rod, salusia, gomphrena and last one is your cross center. In southern states we are cultivating 
crossendra at a commercial level but we cannot say crossendra is a traditional flower it is grown up commercially for the economic purpose but it is not uh, showing our tradition it is not uh, cultivating from our ancestor so that is the main difference between traditional and non traditional flowers then what is cut flower and loose flower you can see in the picture the flower with the long stem that is called the cut flower and the flower without stem that is called the loose flower the next thing we should know about the vase life and shelf life vase life mostly used word for the cut flower when cut stem with the flower we placed in a vase or any container and check the life or period of a time that how much days it retains or survive that is called the vase life and for the shelf life that is same thing but for the shelf life here we place loose flower on the shelves or on the rigid surface and check how much days it retains or survive the next thing is a specialty cut flower specialty cut flowers have a short vase life and we cannot transport easily the examples are that is dahlia lysianthus lilies peonies sunflower snapdragon bird of paradise etc it is a special flower but we cannot transport well so here is i placed two pictures one is lysianthus and second is bird of paradise then foliage plants foliage plants actually leafy part of the plants sometimes we use that word for the leaves either individual or collective leaves some foliage or leaves of ornamental plants looks more and more beautiful than the flowering plants then vegetative growth vegetative growth there is new leaves emerging or comes after germination or after propagation method means simply the stage after germination or propagation and before the flowering the next is whorl it is also called the verticels actually whorl means the set of all organs there there is like uh, uh, androecium gynoecium sepal petals that all complete sets of organ but listen carefully what i'm saying floral whorls are classified into two whorls that is accessory and essential in accessory sepals and petals which are not directly take part in sexual reproduction means in accessory whorls sepals and petals comes that are not directly take part in sexual reproduction and in essential whorls there is androecium and gynoecium comes which take parts directly in sexual reproduction crown Here you can read male and female structures are united into an elegant circular structure that looks like a crown but actually a general term means like upper part of the plant or trees whatever that is from leaves emerging area to the top area it is we can say the crown here i am indicating through the bracket but if we think about the flower you can see the picture of that calotropis flower there is a male and female parts standing together it means that structure we can say actually the crown in flower the next is petiole stalk attached to the leaf and support that i show you in the picture and the peduncle supporting stem but supporting stem to whom to the inflorescence supporting stem to the inflorescence that is called the peduncle and stalk attached to the leaf that is called the petiole the next is panicle that is the cluster of the flower the best example is the rice rice flowers we can say that is the panicle then floriferous growth actually any plants having lots of flowers bears a lots of flowers that is actually the floriferous growth we can say then next is variety and cultivar actually 
variety and cultivar most of the people thinking that is the same thing but this is not the same thing that is too much difference between that two things uh, i am not reading that uh, definition without reading the definition i am explaining by simply if any plant or group of plant produces from true seed that is we can say the wild flora wild flora that is the variety means same plant but there is different variety because there is no interference of the man but in cultivar if we cross the plant if we cross the plant and uh, produce the different plant by crossing that is called the cultivar means variety that is naturally and cultivar there is interference of the man so that is the main difference and succulent you can see the picture by uh, observing picture you can easily understand the succulent that is plant with the fleshy leaves so this is related to basic terms definitions and differences i am ashish i'll again come with new videos now permit me to leave thank you thank you very much if you like then press like button subscribe my channel and for new notification yes bell icon thank you